basic PC maintenance today, I mean, who doesn't own a computer? There are so many, you know, brands out there now, different, you know, operating systems, you know, and with not to mention with viruses and, and malware and spyware all running rampant on the web. You know, it's easy to get infected. It's easy to in download and install many applications that leave and un uninstall, install, you know, so many different things on your hard drive. It, it, what happens is fragmentation builds up, temp files um, build up, and, and many unnecessary files build up. And not to mention if you get infected with a, an infection such as, you know, some type of spyware or virus or trojan. That slows down your system as well. All these things contribute to slow down your system. Now, in that, in this, in the case like that, what you know, aside if, aside from just having you know spyware infection, you know, just having a slow machine, you know, there's nothing else wrong. You 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 uh, you run your antivirus. You have an antivirus. You have some anti spyware applications. These are all good, you know, PC maintenance applications that you should run at least once a month on your machines. Now, aside from that, you know, many people overlook the fact that Windows has a built-in tool called Disk Cleanup. And Disk Cleanup is actually a pretty effective tool that I recommend you run, you know, once a month, every two months on your machine to clean up unnecessary Windows um, temp files, um, other internet temp files, you know, files that were system logs, you know, whatever it may be. Disk Cleanup will clean them up and it does so safely without having to worry about deleting something that you know you needed another application I recommend uh, made by a friend of mine actually is called ATF cleaner I'll give a link to that in the show notes that's ATF cleaner if you google that you'll find it it's made by uh, a Tribune and uh, he's a good friend of mine he wrote it it's very it's a very simple you know piece of software it does what it's supposed to do and nothing else and that and that's what and that's what a temp, and basically a temp file cleaner it cleans up all your temp files. It'll clean up you know cookies. It'll clean up cat your internet cache. It'll clean up you know anything you you that's that's you know just laying there on your machine that you don't really need that you should clean up every once in a while. Now there are certain applications out there that say oh uh, we'll clean your registry. We'll uh, or these all-in-one, you know, applications that that clean up the start menu, that that stop applications from starting up, that that clean the registry, that optimize the system. You know, these are there are applications out there. I'm not, you know, I'm not a big fan of any of them. However, if you're gonna buy them, you know, I'm not gonna stop you. However, I don't not. I'm just saying I don't recommend them, um, especially registry cleaners. Registry cleaners are. They're not necessary in the first place. You don't need a registry cleaner to clean your registry. The win Windows, believe it or not, it does a pretty good job managing the registry. Um, I've spoken to many Windows experts, and they say that the Windows registry will be just fine, you know, without a registry cleaner. You don't have, and um, and I believe it because I ran Windows XP for, I would say at least three to four years without ever reinstalling it and it had nothing to do with it I didn't reinstall it for a slowdown for slow reasons I reinstalled it because I either installed a new hard drive or I did something you know hardware change and I wanted to get a fresh install um, I've, I've been running Vista now for about a, you know a little over a year now since it came out and I haven't ha I haven't had to reinstall so the people who say that you should reinstall every year it's a bit you know or every six months that's a bit um, you know, a bit of an exaggeration. I, I don't believe in that. I think if you run your machine the proper way, you do the, the basic PC maintenance, you, you know, you run an antivirus. I highly recommend uh, you run an antivirus. My favorite um, antivirus is NOD32. That's NOD32, made by a company called ESET. I highly recommend you. If you're, that's, that's paid, though. So if you want a free solution, I recommend AVG. That's made by a company called uh, Greasoft. That's G R I Soft. Um, there's also a Vast, another free one, or Antivir is another free one out there. But uh, NOD32 is by far my favorite. Um, highly recommended. Great, you know, really, really light on resources and great definitions that update, you know, daily, if not more than once, daily. Um,
what else? You know, anti spyware is a big thing. You need an anti spyware application. There's so many ma uh, malware and uh, spyware and adware running around the net now. It's very easy to get infected if you don't know. If you're not running one of these and you don't surf, you know, you don't know what you're doing when you're surfing. Or you go to a uh, site that says it's providing you with, uh, you know, some kind of download, but it's actually some kind of malware. You know, it happens. It happens to everyone. So, in terms of anti-malware um, anti applications, I recommend uh, AVG also makes one now. It's, it's formerly known as Ewido. They bought them out. It's AVG anti-spyware. Very, very good. Very, very good. Um, so I recommend that for free anti-spyware. Uh, anti and ATF cleaner, like I said, to clean up your temp files and disk cleanup as well. There's really not mu much else you need. Um, I don't recommend running two antiviruses. The, what happens when you run two antiviruses is the definitions will conflict with each other. They'll catch each other's stuff, you know, and it will cause conflicts. However, that's not the same with for antivirus for anti-spyware applications. You can run as many basically anti-spyware applications as you like, and you should be okay without any conflicts. Uh, you know, PC maintenance, like I was saying before, very key in run when you have a computer and you're running, looking to keep it running smooth, and you know, up for in and have a good uptime, and not have to reinstall every six months like some people do. People who do that, I'm. Um, you know that that's their choice you know but personally I feel it that's not necessary and uh, you know you don't have to do that so hope this was informative for everyone if hope you learned something you're watching the best techie dot net show that's b e s t t e c h i e dot net we'll see you later